Blue or blue not, there is no chai without banthas. In other words, we're making blue bantha chai. Okay, so to start out with for this blue bantha chai, we are going to start with a little bit of your favorite milk substitute. And then from there, we're gonna add some arrowroot powder. We're gonna whisk that up all together in this pan. We're gonna put that on medium heat. Let that start to heat up. And while we're waiting for that to heat up, we are going to add our pea flour, our butterfly pea flour. Just in there, I'm just gonna mix that up in. And then we're also going to add in some ginger roots, some mace, and some cardamom. And we are going to let this heat up until it starts to steam, stirring occasionally so it doesn't burn. Okay, as you can see, it's really starting to steam up and we don't want it to boil. So I'm gonna start by pulling this off of the heat just for a little bit. And then I'm going to let those flowers steep a little bit just to turn it a little bit more of a blue color. Okay, so we let that steep for about five minutes. As, as you can see, there's a nice sort of natural blue color to our bantha chai. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this over right here and we're going to very carefully take a strainer, put that over our glass, and just strain it into the glass. And then what you can do to finish it off is you can take one of your favorite spices and you can just give it a little dash over the top, just like that. Give a little bit of ornamentation.